Greetings one and all. Welcome back to my kitchen here today where I'm going to be making another dish from Africa and specifically Kenya again. So this is called Nyama Choma um, or specifically in this case it's Mbuzi Nyama Choma which is basically barbecue meat but Mbuzi is goat um, which is what's traditionally used so I've managed to source some goat I've got my butcher here just to cut up some leg and I've got the bone in that at all um, I'm just going to cut it maybe into slightly smaller pieces so just cut some of those ends and we're keeping all this grizzle and hard bits and the bone and everything it's all part of our um, nyama chama um, and I throw all that into a bowl so I'll just continue doing that yeah just sort of big chunks and then, like I say keep some big bony pieces like that like so Like I say, you want all this. <laughs> it's all part of our uh, chonga. And incidentally, that's about 1.5 kg. Now once I've done that, I've made up a bit of a paste or a marinade. I'll get that in. I'll just jump back and show you how I made this marinade. Alrighty, so to make my paste, I've just got my small whizzer thing there. I've just got a couple of small um, shallots, you know those small onions. If you can't get those, just, I don't know, use a small red onion. Uh, that's a little bit sweet. I've got a big knob of ginger, just roughly chopped up. I've got about eight small cloves of garlic, in they go. I've got one dry red chilli, throwing that in. Optional. Now here, I've got a tablespoon, which sounds like a lot, but it's one of our main flavourings of black pepper, ground. And I've just got a teaspoon of ground cum cumin. In they get. A splash of vegetable oil, not too much. Now, there's various recipes for. Nyama Chama, Numa, I'm probably saying it wrong, Nyama Chama. <laughs> um, some of them are a lot simpler than this, they'll just add like a bit of salt and nothing much else. Um, others, probably a few more ingredients, just um, yeah, whoever's making it. It's basically just barbecue meat, so yeah. But I'm gonna, yeah, definitely marinate this. I'm going to get my hands in there because I want to rub it all into my meat, get into the skin, into those crevices. And at this stage, as in my previous Kenya video, I'll just say greetings to Sean, Nakokanda Sana. A sweet oil. <laughs> Make sure we're here to try this for me. Alright, now that looks pretty good. I'm going to get that covered into the fridge and I'm going to leave that overnight. 
Alrighty guys, so here we are the next day. I um, pulled my goat in the marinade, or my zubi, in the marinade, uh, out of the fridge about an hour ago. So it's, um, my meat's starting to get up to room temperature. All I'm going to add to that now is I've just got um, half a lemon here. And I'm going to squeeze in. Without trying to squeeze it all over everything else. Some fresh lemon juice. And again, I'm going to use my hands. Get that in. It's pretty well ready to go. Now, as I said originally, um, sometimes this is just made with salt and pepper. So you might be wondering about where the salt is. What I've got here is one and a half cups of water, which I've dissolved two tablespoons of salt into. Now while our meat's cooking on the um, grill, periodically I'm going to be sort of just flicking some of this briny mixture over it. And that's going to do two things. Obviously, it's going to season the meat, and it's also going to sort of slow down the cooking a bit because we're going to want to cook that goat over a fair period of time. All right, I've just got my um, barbecue warming up. Um, I need to die down a little bit. We only want a moderate heat, and um, as soon as it gets that moderate heat, I'll take you there and we'll fry our meat on. Alrighty guys, so my Nama Chama is cooked now, um, that would have been a total cooking time, I don't know, it was around an hour and a half, an hour and three quarters, I um, put the lid down for a fair bit of that, was sort of basting it a fair bit with that um, brine, um, I mean, that's pretty obvious, <laughs> this dish gets your meat well done, if you're looking for a rare piece of meat. This isn't the dish for you. Um, 
from what I can see, usually just gets served up like on a breadboard, like so, um, with some other canyon sides, which I haven't made today. I just um, wanted to try making this. I do see they they often slice it up. You eat it with your fingers, so yeah, you put it into bite-sized pieces, like so. Um, yeah, let's try a bit. Man, <laughs> that is absolutely delicious. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, now, like I say, you're not getting rare meat there. That's um, mbuzi or goat. Um, it's not really, really tender, but it's quite easy to chew. There's a few sort of bits of sinew in that in it that you've got to chew a bit harder. And all that is delicious. <laughs> That's all I can say. That chewy bits are just yummy. Um, man, I would make that again and again and again and again. That is so good. <laughs> uh, what a revelation. Um, yeah, I, I, I admit, I guess in the past I've been a bit of a meat snob. You know, I like my medium rare. Yeah, good fillet steak and all that. But um, that is an awesome way to eat meat as well. We just goes to show um, you can get meat cooked different ways. It's a totally different dish, and that's a good dish. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks to everyone who's subscribed to my channel. Really, really appreciate you guys, um, especially you guys leaving comments regularly. Um, it's really nice. I, I love it, actually. It's really um, heartwarming, and it gives me motivation to keep making these videos. If you're not a subscriber, I just ask you um, hit that subscription button. There's no obligation on your part. It just helps my channel out no end. Um, but yeah, if you don't want to, no worries. Just yeah, thanks for watching anyway. Um, check out some of the other ones, <laughs> and I will see you all next time.